people? Well, like the first thing, yes. Doctor, the first thing Dr. Roma said um, was, thank you for your business. Um, we realized when we were sitting down, um, planning, putting together a plan, um, a COVID-19 plan, the more adventurous travelers uh, tend to travel by boat um, or tend to fly their own plane. Uh, and so, you know, again, just echoing what Dr. Roma said, thank you very much for the business that you've given us in the past. And thank you very much for the business that you continue to give us and will give us in the future. In planning, in planning uh, my brief presentation today, um, I, I spoke with Carl and I said, well, what do I talk about? And so here is what, I, what I'd like to do is just share with you the roadmap for my 15, 20-minute presentation. Who are we? And that is the Bahama Out Islands Promotion Board. Why the Bahamas Out Islands? And then I don't want to talk about all of the islands. I want to feature three, the Berry Islands, Eleuther Harbor Island, and Exuma. Um, and, in, and in talking about those three islands, uh, what I would really focus on is what to do. And I will share with you our bucket list. And our bucket list is not something that we've read. It's something that when we have been to the Berry Islands or Eleuther Harbor Island or we've been to Exuma, these are the things that we like to do. And I hope you would find, um, I hope you would find uh, one or two gems um, for each island. Also, we talk about where to stay because I realize uh, even though you travel by yacht, sometimes um, some of your customers or clients want to stay in a hotel. Um, and then also how to get to these islands. And I talk, I mean, I say how to get to these islands. I'm not really focusing on schedule air. I'm not talking about Delta Airlines or American Airlines or Silver Airways, uh, which, is Unite, which operates as United Express. I'm talking about how to get there when you really want to get there via charter air. I also will touch um, in, in detail, if you'd like me to, about the COVID-19 travel entry requirements. And then I have some other tips for you, some other islands that are sleepers. And then finally, I would be, I'd be willing to, um, to answer any questions. But first of all, about the Bahama Out Islands Promotion Board. We're a hotel association. About, we, we, our membership now stands at 34 hotels scattered through 11 different islands in the Bahamas. And when we say islands, I'm not counting New Providence or Nassau Paradise Island or Grand Bahama Island. I'm counting the other islands, which make up 84% of the landmass. Um, my business goals are very simple. Help my hotels to make money. Help my hotels to get people to stay at their hotel and sleep in their beds. We work very closely um, with the Ministry of Tourism. Carla's job, uh, Dr. Roma's job, the Director General's job is to get people to come to the Bahamas, um, hopefully the right island for them, have a good time, leave and want to come back and also recommend. Um, I want you to do the same thing. I want people to get to the Bahamas, but I want them to come to the out islands in the Bahamas. And I don't want them to stay in just any hotel. I want them to stay in one of my member hotels. And then the rest becomes the same. Have a good time, want to come back and want to recommend. And so we work very, very closely with the Ministry of Tourism. And that's why you see synergy on the screen. Um, why the out islands in the Bahamas? I, I couldn't help and, 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 and thank you, um, Kenneth, um, for that, that really uh, honest to goodness situation analysis in terms of, of what we're dealing with as far as COVID-19 is concerned. But you would see, you would see on the screen, and I, and I share this to say, the islands of the Bahamas stretches over 100,000 square miles of ocean. And if you were to go from Puerto Rico all the way down to Barbados, the islands of the Bahamas, that 100,000 square miles of ocean, almost is the same size as the Lesser Antilles. So when we talk about, and I just want to put COVID-19 in perspective. Um, as of, of yesterday at 3.35 p.m., we had 945 positive cases. Uh, we had 428 on the island of Grand Bahama, and we had 420 cases um, in New Providence. Now let's look at Eleuthera. Eleuthera is a 110 mile long island. We have one case. Exuma is a chain of 365 different islands and keys. We have four keys. 
So I just want to put COVID-19 in perspective. Um, but why the islands of the Bahamas? When you, I know one of the things, uh, again, when we were planning back in March, April, um, and, and what it is that we're going to do coming out of the gate, uh, we knew, we were hearing, uh, when, when consumers start to travel again, they will be looking to escape to destinations that are close to home. As you all know, Bimini is 42 or 52 nautical miles east of Miami. We also learned that consumers would be looking to escape to destinations that offered them a lot of elbow room, a lot of seclusion, um, because they've been pent up. They would have been pent up. Um, and the out islands offer just that. Even in high season, it's very rare to walk out to one of our three mile pink sand beaches and see more than 10 people. And so we believe the, the out islands in the Bahamas, why the out islands in the Bahamas? We really believe we were made um, for, the, for these kind of times. Um, and let's just vi um, visit very quickly our strengths. And I touched on, on, on one already, and that is the proximity um, to the US. Uh, we start at 52 nautical miles. Um, most islands are within an hour, an hour and a half um, from Miami or Fort Lauderdale by plane. Uh, again, spectacular, uncrowded beaches, um, and we're relatively warm year round. And that's why we are called the Isles of Perpetual June. And that nickname was given to us by Christopher Columbus, who was our first tourist, if, if you're counting. Um, Again, we're ideal for getting away from it all, ideal for rest and relaxation. And, and uh, maybe 20, 25% of the people who come to the Out Islands are coming for a sporting activity. And our sporting activity um, really has to do with everything in water, diving, boating, deep sea fishing, um, flax fishing. Relatively speaking, the Out Islands in the Bahamas are safe. Um, something that you all may not know. I remember going down to Long Island, um, last year for a seminar. And I was working up in the lobby because they had internet access until about maybe 10 o'clock that night. Um, and then I went to the front desk and I said, well, I've been here all night. I didn't get a key for my room. And so the lady looks at me and she said, a key for your room? I said, yeah. She said, we don't have keys. Well, you know, I live in the city and, I, and, I'm, and, and you know, from Nassau or Fort Lauderdale between the two, I'm not used to staying in a place without keys. And so you should see me when I went down to the bottom of the hill. You know, it's dark. You can see the night sky, you know, walking around the room, <laughs> looking in each of the showers, because it was like a three-bedroom place, looking under the bed <laughs> and trying to figure, you know, am I going to be safe? But, but that's the Out Islands. Um, and, and we're still like that, even in 2020. Friendly people. Um, one of the things you're going to learn if you ever were to take a, a land tour in places like Long Island or Exuma or Eleuthera, you know, you're driving from one end of the island to the next. And as you pass perfect strangers, everybody raises their hands and just waves at you. And so it, it's almost like a national salute. Um, we have exotic appeal. And, and because we're so close, uh, you know, we speak English. And so you don't have to translate anything. You understand us and we understand you. And you don't have to convert any dollars um, from pounds or, or, or euros or whatever it is. Um, we work with the US dollar and it's interchangeable on island. So those, those are all of the reasons why the Bahamas and, and in particular, why the out islands. Now let's talk about some of my favorites or, or, or islands that we will be focusing on today um, about the Berry Islands. Um, the Berry Islands is a cluster of 30 keys, most of which are uninhabited. Again, 30 keys, okay? You know how many cases of, of COVID-19 we have in the Berry Islands? 12. Let that sink in. Uh, the main, the two, two large uh, um, uh, populated islands would be Great Harbor Key and Chub Key, with a total population of approximately 807. Remember uncrowded? Remember hustle and bustle free? Remember, stress-free. We only have 807 people on 30 keys. Uh, the Berry Islands are known for sports fishing. Um, second only to Bimini as the country's billfish capital. Um, secluded beaches, perfect for, boat, for beach combing, snorkeling and diving. Um, beautiful cliffs and coves. 
Um, as far as a bucket list, here is ours for the Berry Islands. And, and, and our bucket list, we don't just tell you beautiful beaches. Um, as you can see with the first one, we say explore Sugar Beach Caves on Great Harbor Key. You want to visit Little Harbor Key and dine at Flo's Kong Bar. Take a hike on Hoffman's Key and jump into one of the hidden blue holes. Bring your fishing gear and go fly fishing with Captain Percy Darvel. Highly recommend it. Um, and when you go fly fishing, remember the laws that we have in the Bahamas as far as flax fishing is concerned. Um, two people on a, on, a, on a skiff, you do need a guide. Um, go snorkeling on Padded Key or Hawk's Nest Key. And go diving with the new dive operator, Chub Key Divers at Chub Key Club Resort. Um, where to stay once you get over there, if you decide that you want to spend a couple nights on land, um, Carrier Boutique Hotel on Great Harbor Key, and Chub Key Club Resort and Marina on Chub Key. Um, by the way, if um, I, I know I'm trying to go pretty quickly, um, but if any of you would like this presentation afterwards, please reach out to Carla, um, and she would be able to send it to you. And our next featured island is really um, Eleuthera Harbor Island. Um, but Eleuthera is so, it's, it's different from Harbor Island, so I've split them up into two. Um, Eleuthera stretches for 100 miles. 100 miles, and at its widest point, is about two miles. This string bean shaped island is home to pineapple plantations, hills, undulating hills, cliffs, um, stunning pink sand beaches, total population 11,515. Number of COVID cases on Eleuthera. An island that's over 100 miles long, one. Known for amazingly sweet pineapples, and we grow them locally, and quaint roadside settlements. Um, settlements are little small towns or villages, that's what we call them. And it's highly recommended that if you go into Eleuthera, um, in addition to exploring um, on getting around by sea, rent a car for a day and, 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 or two days and try to see the islands. And, if you see little signs saying this beach or that beach, take it, um, because it's going to open up into something that you could not even imagine how beautiful it is. Uh, in terms of a bucket list, because the island is so long, we have a bucket list for North Eleuthera, for Central Eleuthera, and also South Eleuthera. Um, but if you're in the North, definitely Glass Window Bridge. And the glass window bridge is where the, the island narrows to a point where on one side you can see the deep navy blue of the Atlantic Ocean. And then on the next side, uh, just, just separated by rocks, um, on the next side you see the calm aqua, aqua marine seas of the Caribbean Sea. Um, explore Preacher's Cave. That's where our first um, uh, modern-day settlers um, settled back in 1648. Um, an experience, this is something that you must do. Go to Surface Beach. And trust me, the road is not good. But stomach it. Go to Surface Beach and just look at the waves. You're talking about maybe 15, 20 feet waves. And, and, and I tell you, people who surf, they, they, that's, that's, they cut from a different cloth. And then also you want to browse at Palms Island Made Gift Shop in Gregory Town. Those are some of the things that we recommend that you do in North Eleuthera. In Central Eleuthera, um, you, you hear us talk in the Bahamas about bush medicine, how we use the different plants for medicinal purposes. Um, Leon Levy Native Plant Preserve, uh, that's a must uh, stop. Um, me, as it said in my bio, I like to cook, which means if you like to cook, you like to eat. Um, Governor's Harbor Bakery, I go in there for good pineapple tarts. And, and, and coconut tarts, which are some of the best throughout the Bahamas. Um, trust me on that one. And then, um, you know, if you go to the farmer's market in Palmetto Point, and then if you just want to listen to the local sip sip and enjoy the local vibe, um, Tippy's Restaurant um, is a nice place to go. The bucket list in the south, one of the most beautiful beaches in the entire Bahamas, and I would argue the world, um, Lighthouse Beach. Um, also in the Rock Sound area, you want to visit the Ocean Hole and feed the fish. And the Island School at Cape Eleuthera. I know you all may be saying, why, uh, why would you recommend going to see a school? Um, go and see it. And if you have kids um, that you're looking to give them an experience for one semester, 
And, and these are high school age kids. If you're looking to give them a, an experience for one semester in a foreign country that's relatively close, um, with, with, with definite uh, focus on academics and also physical activity, uh, mainly running and swimming, go to the island school. Um, if you want to stop and again, listen to the local sip sip, grab a nice cold Kalik or Sands Bear and some fresh Kung salad, Gino's Roadside Kung Stan, and Frigate's Bar and Grill and Rock Sound. And also, um, if you like some crack Kunk, uh, Cheryl's Inn in Deep Creek. Uh, and again, on this theme of food, uh, if you like guava duff, guava is a fruit, and we make like a, almost like a strawberry shortcake with using guava. Um, you have to stop at Mommy's Guava Duff, um, ship to shore in Rams Pike. So those are our, that's our bucket list for Eleuthera, where you would want to stay. Um, in North Eleuthera, there's a place called The Other Side. And, and, and when I'm recommending these places to stay, these are not necessarily all members of my board, um, but Carla told me about the demographic profile of those people that are getting on your yachts. And so we pick the hotels or our recommendations, um, as far as hotels are concerned, it's keeping that in mind, who your demographic profile is. But these are the, the hotels that we'd recommend that you stay at in Eleuthera, um, in, in the north, the other side, in Central French Leave Resort and Marina, and in the south, Cape Eleuthera Resort and Marina. Um, Harbor Island, really for romantics. Um, if you haven't been there, you have to go. Um, even if you're yachting out and about um, in our 100,000 square miles of ocean, Harbor Island is a must Um It's probably one of the prettiest islands. We call it the Cape Cod of the South. Um, it's known for its pink sand beach, the three mile pink sand beach, um, colored, uh, you know, Bogan, Bogan Villa um, draped, that's a, 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 a plant um, with beautiful flowers. But Bogan Villa plant, um, draped streets, and colorful. Um, pastel colonial houses. Um, that's Harbor Island. And just getting around Harbor Island is no, you know, not a lot of cars. You get around, you either walk or you get around by golf cart. Um, and it's just, it's just something that you need to, uh, yeah, you, you're out in the ocean and enjoying it, uh, but you need to experience Harbor Island if you're around north, if you're around the Luther, Luther area. Again, as far as our bucket list is concerned, I'm renting a golf cart for an afternoon or a day and just going on your own tour. Um, I like to, you know, once I leave in the morning and, and go to the bakery, and after that, go to the beach for lunch. My spot is Queen's Kung Shack. Get a nice cold collect, um, nice fresh Kung salad, maybe some Kung fritters, and call it a day. Go back on the beach. And if you're looking to do some diving, um, there's the Valentine's Dive Center, and there's a drift dive that they offer which is totally different. Um, if any of you are divers, you just jump in on one of the island and the current just takes you um, for about maybe, I would say about a good half a mile. Um, and that's what we call drift diving. Places to stay on Harbor Island, Valentine's Resort and Marina, Remora Bay Resort and Marina, Pink Sands Resort, Coral Sands, and the Dunmore. Finally, the Exumas, 365 keys, one key for every year. Um, astronaut Scott Kelly, uh, when he was up in space, uh, he took a look at the Earth below. He identified um, some waters in the world, and he said, you know what? This spot right here has the prettiest, clearest, um, bluest, aquamarine waters in the world. And lo and behold, it was not only the Bahamas, but it was actually in the Exumas. Um, again, 365 key, uh, keys, and we have four cases of COVID. Again, 365 keys, and we have 7,317 7, um, residents and crowded. Exuma, perfect for San, perfect. Um, uh, for picture-perfect sandbars, snow-white beaches, and electric blue waters. The land and sea park, the national land and sea park in Exuma, that is an absolute must. And oink, oink, swimming pigs. The Exuma bucket list, again, you have to go and see the swimming pigs. Be careful, those animals are wild. They're not tamed, 
okay? Um, Thunderball Grotto, if you, you like to do snorkeling or diving, um, which is the site where the James Bond movie Thunderball was shot. Uh, you got to go to hang, uh, hang out one day at Chat and Chill, um, which is on Stockton Island. And Chat and Chill is a bar restaurant where all of the boaters assemble um, on a weekend, um, not too much during the week. You play volleyball, you just sit around, drink, eat, and lay on the beach and swim and have fun. Uh, you got to visit the Tropic of Cancer Beach on Little Exuma. Um, Santana's or Tropic Breeze on Little Exuma. Those are two little hangouts, um, fresh lobster. And then dig for sand dollars on Cocoa Plum Beach, um, et cetera, et cetera. So those are all of our bucket lists. Where you want to stay on Exuma? Um, Sandals Emerald Bay, Tennis and Spa Resort. We also recommend Grand Isle Resort, February Point Resort, and Kahari Resort, which is a beautiful low place on Stocking Island. Um, and then if you're in the Exuma Keys, Daniel Key Yacht Club and Marina um, would be our favorite. In terms of getting there, um, look at that picture. Can you imagine? That's how you get there, really by private charter. Um, for your crowd. And, and we have, uh, I'm sharing with you today, uh, some of the private um, airline charters um, that operate out of South and Central Florida, um, out of the Fort Lauderdale Airport at the Shelter um, FBO. We have Tropic Ocean Airways. And then out of the Executive Airport in Fort Lauderdale, we have Makers Air, Aztec Airways, Air Flight Charters, Gold Aviation. And then out of Central Florida, um, from Sanford Inf International Airport up in Orlando, you have Air Unlimited. Now, this, this is not, ten uh, my intention is not to provide you with an exhaustive list. Um, but if you, if you don't know, um, at least this is a start. And, and I just wanted to share this with you. Look at that. Can you imagine flying from Fort Lauderdale um, and you have somebody that needs to meet the boat or meet, meet a yacht. And, and the, the plane, um, because Tropic Ocean Airways, um, one of the private airline charter operators, um, as you can see, they have amphibious planes so they can land um, on a runway or they can land in the ocean. And, and, I, and I, I shared this to say there is an initiative afoot. Um, approvals have not been granted as yet, but there is an initiative afoot um, to provide Bahamas pre-clearance out of the two um, Fort Lauderdale airports, the Shelter FBO and also um, Banyan um, FBO at Fort Lauderdale Executive Airport. What does that mean? That means we would have um, Bahamas immigration and Bahamas customs working out of those two airports. So um, a seaplane um, operated like by, by Tropic Ocean Airways, would now be able to take off from the shelter FBO. And because they would have already cleared Bahamas Customs and Immigration in Florida, um, they would be able to land in the ocean right at your boat, and the folks would be able to get right off of that plane and walk right over the, on those steps and right on your boat. Um, so, so keep your ears open for that development. Um, I just want to now touch on the COVID-19 travel and entry requirements. Um, again, echoing what Dr. Kenneth Roma said, all private yachts and pleasure craft with passengers arriving in the Bahamas from an international destination are welcome. Hi, Carrie. Hey, Carlo, you need me to wrap up? Yes, one minute. But we can skip the COVID-19 travel entry because we're going to touch on that. Um, so if you can like wrap up in one minute, that would be good. We would appreciate it, but you're great. You're awesome. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. so I'm going to just, and, and Carla, I'm so glad you told me not to do that because there's a lot to cover, but I'm going to just, let me just show if you, if you don't do anything today, take, make notes of those two, um, website addresses, bahamas.com slash forward slash travel updates for your frequent updates and then travel.gov.bs. Um, for the Bahamas help visa. Um, but as you can see, there was a lot of information I wanted to share. Carla, thank you so much for me not doing this. Um, and I just wanted to end up 
by sharing with you um, some tips. We always talk about Eleuther or Harbor Island, Spanish Wells. Keep that in mind. It's right next to Harbor Island, a New England style fishing village only two miles uh, long by a half a mile wide. Um, that is the up and coming Harbor Island. As far as Abaco is concerned, as you know, our, our Abaco um, really got the knockout punch by Hurricane Dorian last year. If you're thinking about Abaco, stay south. Um, places like the Abaco um, Club on Winding Bay, that's fully operational and a beautiful area to go and visit. Um, and when you're down there, you would want to definitely spend an afternoon at Pete's Pub, nice hamburger, um, nice specialty drinks. Um, but again, if you're going to Abaco, stay south. Uh, Long Island, um, again, you know, when we're talking about yachting um, in your, well, your area of life, uh, we, we hardly talk about Long Island. Um, but Long Island, um, nice place to go to, um, very authentic, friendly, genuine people. And then last but not least, the sleeper is Cat Island. And they all have, um, Long Island has a marina and some nice hotels, Cape Santa Marina, Cape Santa Maria Beach Resort, um, and Cat Island is sprinkled with, you know, nice small boutique hotels, and there's also a marina down there at Hawk's Nest. Um, so that's it. Thank you very much.